The Busara Project is a culmination of my trips to Africa over the last six years and working with women in different tribes. For me, working with women is very important uh, because it does empower them and it gives them a future. And, and for the Africans in particular, getting food on their, their table with their children every day is very important. The men, unfortunately, in the last few years have, have dwindled due to genocide or AIDS or they've had to work far away from their families. So the women are really standing there holding it all together. Just like we have super moms here, there are super moms over there. These people are working every day to make their family function. And they have only X amount of daylight, they have no electricity, they have no running water. The Africans don't know that they're having a bad day. It's a bad day to us. It's not a bad day to them. It's a regular day. And listen to the wisdom because they have such a great sense of humor. Uh, they, can, they can turn on a dime, these guys. I think they just have so much wisdom that if we could shut up for a second, because as a culture, we're so young. And these people have been around anywhere from 3,000 to 8,000 years. So they didn't make it this long <laughs> without being traditionally handed, uh, you know, generationally wisdom, knowledge, insight, understanding, and acclimation. I mean, their ability to acclimate is, is, is defining. You know, I went over to teach women in business, so I was kind of like, woo, here we go, you know, and, and I've been in business for 20 years, and I don't know who learned more, me or them. So listening to their wisdom really made me kind of a stronger, smarter person uh, by listening to how they acclimate to their sense of humor, to their sense of family structure, to their sense of being very empowered by their tribe and their culture. On so many levels there's wisdom, whether it's just the way they operate on a day-to-day -day level, whether it's their oral history, whether it's their tradition, whether it's the earrings they wear, whether it's the way they bead, whether it's the way they got a goat. You know, there's just so much wisdom, and this is real wisdom. This isn't just knowledge, this is wisdom. They know it, they own it, they wear it. And to be able to experience that and share that is really just a simple statement. Maybe just kind of listen to the wisdom and we could really learn something. Okay, three, two. Amy, how can people get involved with the Bursara Project if they're interested? You can always call me for one. Uh, for two, you can also go to the website, which is www.bursara, that's B-U-S-A-R-A, project.org. Mm -hmm. And uh, we take donations. We also sell, you know, different Jatoga bracelets, local bracelets, and I brought you a Maasai bracelet. Oh, thank you! You're I welcome. love it. I was, I've already commented <laughs> on your bracelets earlier. I love it, Amy. Thank so you, you know, we always uh, will always take donations. We are a nonprofit, so we will send you a tax deductible um, for your records. And of course, any questions, you can always contact me. Great. And when is your next trip there going to be? Um, hopefully, I'm looking probably at the end of May, beginning of June. We've got a project that we're working on, mm -hmm. assuming that everything goes properly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and with Africa, you just never know. Right. So, you know, we're working on to try to put a, a, a hospitality school together. That will be yeah, awesome. Yeah, in an area that doesn't have any education at all. Wow. Well, I look forward to seeing yes. footage of what you're doing over there. I know you're making a difference. <laughs> Everybody keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> All right. And Amy, tell me, too, about what you're doing here in Key West. You're the co-owner of a store yes. called Where the Key Weird West, we're, Go we're Pro. Pro. I yes. love it. <laughs> it was just a fun saying that's been around for a while. We also used to say it at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. We would lose somebody and, you know, my husband would say, oh, they just went pro on us. <laughs> so I <laughs> trademarked it. So I brought you guys a bunch of little gifts. Oh, thanks. These and are we good. sell online right now. We had a pop-up mm -hmm. shop, but we sell online and, and it's where the weirdgopro.com. Okay. And I'll deliver for free. So send me an email or call me mm -hmm. so you don't have to pay for shipping. And we'll ship anywhere in the world. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, what a good logo to have, right? Yes, why not? <laughs> it, it describes Key West <laughs> in a nutshell, I think. <laughs> well, thank you. We had some fun with it. Yeah. Amy, thank you for no, being thank on this you. morning. I really appreciate the time. I really do look forward, though, to videos and photos of your yes. next trip to Africa, so you'll have to come back on Absolutely. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you thank for you tuning very much. in with us this morning. I hope that you'll be able to join me back here again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone.
It'll be okay.